Hey now, everybody. Folk Hero back again with some more frankly appalling gameplay. Uh, we're back here with World of Warcraft with the new 7.3.5, and I am in Lachmodin here at Thelsimar. Um, and you'll notice I am level 17 now. Um, I uh, was on Twitch on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday morning. Um, and I went from level 10 to. Well, just below level 17. Um, and somehow none of my video got transferred. So we won't have any of that. Uh, but we... Just to recap the story so far here in Thelsimar. Uh, we came out here. There was a big problem with uh, gnolls. I'm sorry, trogs. And then gnolls we found out and kobolds were involved. So... Uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on, and we just had a quest. Turns out some of them were enslaving the Trogs with their special shaman, sh shamanic, sh 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 their earth magic. Um, but we also found out that there's Morlocks involved, and if there's Morlocks involved, you know, shit ain't right. So, that's where we are. Uh, you can see I am at level 17 now. I was testing out a new UI build uh, that I found on Bellular's uh, site, well, his YouTube channel. Um, and I really like it, but I'm not going to switch just yet. I want to keep going with this, since this is essentially what the quote-unquote new player will have to deal with when they're here. Yeah, make this my home, please. Um, and let me browse goods. So, oh yeah, where I was last time, I was trying to sell stuff, um, but I couldn't get any more money because of some processing issues with my payment online. Uh, I'm going to keep Rough Stone, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't sell. Shadow Gem, Tiger's Eye, Malachite, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll take that. Blood sausage. I'm going to keep because I actually used it. Uh, I'm not going to... Ke uh, I'll keep that just in case. Mining pick, blacksmith hammer. Okay. Cape of the Brotherhood. No. Uh, what? Uh, what's the button? Well, let me... Uh, well, I'll add that to my inventory first. Uh, I wore that already. Uh, did I wear that? Let me put those on and then sell them. And then we're going to fly back. Actually, let me put those on while we're walking. And... Okay, and then let me fly back to Iron Forge. I'm going to try to sell uh, some of my stuff here. So uh, let's see what happens. All right, so we're flying in here. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> now I'm going to, just for streaming purposes, mind you, some of my chopper, my chopper, chopper, choppered, my chopper, 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 chopper. And where the hell am I going? There I. There's where I'm going, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put some of the stuff on the auction house uh, and see if we can't get rid of it. Uh, and I have to remember to sell those things. Okay. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, auction. Let me have... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we at now? Copper ore. Uh, stacks of 20 are going for 40 gold. 39.99, 80. Mm, okay. You know what? 
Uh, I'm going to put up... Uh, let's put stacks at... Oops. Stack size of 10. Seven of them. Starting price of... 19.532 and ending price of 19.99.99 cuz it ain't 20 put that at 40 hours okay uh, let's see what else uh, light leather stacks of Five. I mean, I could use TSM, but I just don't feel like setting it all up again and all that stuff. I mean, I used to make enough money on the auction house to just support my WoW subscription. So, I mean, I might look at doing that into the future, uh, especially if I'm streaming something else or if I'm streaming this more and I get back into the game and I want the subscription. Uh, but, I mean, even with the token's ability to... Uh, change it into credit or uh, battle net balance. I mean, that might make it worthwhile. Uh, let's see. So, 8 gold is the start, nine, 10 is the buyout. Alright, let's uh, put up a stack size of 5, 3. What did I say? 10 was the buyout. So, let's say 9.50 is the buyout there. So we'll create that auction. Um, and there's almost a point where it's almost not worth it to undercut all that much because when people come in they're going to buy like huge stacks at a time so they won't care if you're a gold or two more than the people because they're just looking to buy the stuff and level up. So, linen cloth. Yeah, I'm gonna do stacks of. Uh, let's do stacks of ten because I don't feel like doing twenty and then another stack of ten. Uh, where are we here? So four seems a bit per price per unit buyout price per unit forty two cents. 420. Yeah, okay. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to go with that stack size of 10. I'll let 11 stacks. Um, let's say 423. And my buyout's 5. So let's create that auction. And let's put, I don't know that there's going to be much call for ruined leather scraps. Yeah, but. Let's see. Wool cloth. No, 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 no. Uh. Look at that. Are they not even in stacks? Dang, dude, what's this guy selling at? 658? Yeah, okay. Let's do, so what did they say? 658, 6, and 7's our buyout. Um, so there. Yeah, I mean, like I, what I would used to do would be I'd go in and all these single wood cloths, if they're below price, a certain price, I would buy them up and then group them up and stack them, but the buyout is just like not that much. So, so we'll see. There's also, you can also do things like, uh, uh, setting your prices in TSM so that it takes advantage of other people's TSM stuff, well, they'll buy 
certain things in single quantities in a mass amount and resell them. So if somebody's not paying attention to their uh, parameters and stuff when they set everything up, that's a way to make some quick gold from their negligence. Kind of crummy, but, you know, it is what it is. It's capitalism. That's... Sure, there's a whole subreddit about how great capitalism is. <coughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I choked on something. Alright, let's fly back to Thelsimar, pick up where we left off. Oh, what I wanted to do, well, I'll see once I have to pick up maybe some gold. But I could definitely use some more bags. Um, and what I don't want to do is. Uh, have someone send them to me. So where's uh where's the red star of uh Argus? Just trying to think. I thought maybe it should be over this way. Hmm. I gotta clean my monitors. Uh so sell, sell, sell. Yeah, you know, like all this crap is just taking up space. Gotta hook up a, a uh, authenticator. I definitely need those extra four, those extra four slots. But all right, uh, we'll pick up here when we land. All right, I need to redo some of my buttons too, my hotkeys. Uh, I think I'm going to change some of those on the side from the control and shift uh, letter keys. So, I have them bound in such a way that I have a gamepad that I use. I mean, I started using it for Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm, but I like it for this as well uh, because of the way I can make these side buttons on it, uh, control and alt, and space bar and such. So, that's like a big thing. That's a big help for me anyway. But I think control and alt and shift on those buttons is just too much of a pain in the ass. Yeah, take that, take that, take that. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to these for now. I'm not sure how quickly those sell, but if I really wanted to, I could look on uh, online and see what the, the deal is with them. Alright, so did you get those crocolis things, or did I make that up? No, I got them. Mighty kind of you to help out an old fool like me. Here's your reward. Alright, so just shut your gob and let me talk. Here's the plan. Those gnolls and murlocs are liable to be meeting out there somewhere. So take this clever plant disguise and wear it and sneak up on them. Throw this scent pheromone you gathered on the moss hide standing with the murlocs. The murlocs will flip their spit and the moss hides will think twice about working with such crazy little buggers. Alright. So let's go infiltrate that little camp and see what's... Ooh, let me see my mail. Uh, yeah, I keep... Sometimes I move the gamepad up against the... Oh, thanks. Up against the keyboard, so I'm stuck jumping. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I was trying out Bellular's uh, immersive uh, UI setup that he has. Uh, he has a whole video about it, but it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It really looks nice. I didn't take the time to deal with dynamic cam and stuff, but even just the Guild Wars 2 setup is uh, pretty neat. Hold on, let me see if... Uh, I just got a text. No, I got an email. I gotta make that stop beeping at me. Alright. Oh, so yeah, I was using the Guild Wars 2 UI setup, uh, and it's actually really nice. I haven't played Guild Wars 2 for a long time, probably many, not many, but a few years. So I really don't, I didn't really didn't play that much either. So I don't have a ton of experience uh, about what it looks like, but I like it a lot. Um, and I was using Dynamic Cam a bunch in Legion to try to recapture my interest when it came, oh, yeah. when it came back, but it just, uh, didn't hold it long enough. So. What's that? Oh, heroic throw. Let me move that there. 
There we go. All I wanted was the health uh, from yeah, the health from victory rush. Uh, oh come on, that's that's definitely something I can climb. That's not cool. Oh yeah, I got it in the nick of time. Uh, yeah, you can hear I'm still still a little under the weather. Sneak up on the moss side and use the Purden Marlock thing on him. Alright, so I'm a plant. Nothing but a plant. I'm just hanging out here. And then Splash the moss hide representative. Oh, what was that? Oh, what the heck is that smell? Yeah, look at that. Kobolds, the gnolls, the murlocs. Oh, tunnel rat. Yeah, I mean, close enough. Those are definitely kobolds. Uh-oh. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. This is your only chance, you fishy fools. Ah, curse your sudden yet inevitable betrayal. There's definitely like uh, what I like some of the uh, about some of the Warcraft quests is that there's a definite Final Fantasy vibe to some of the text that goes on during the course of it. Which, uh, speaking of which, uh, I mentioned before about Star Wars: The Old Re I think I mentioned before. Maybe I was mentioning it on the Sims video I just filmed, but. I uh, I keep thinking about that game and going back to it, even though everybody says it's not that great, but I kind of want to do, I mean, it's a great, like everybody says now, it's a great single player uh, online RPG. There's not a whole lot of MMO aspects to it. Um, it's kind of just like a multiplayer, multiplayer universe RPG, I would say. Um, and I mean, I did the trooper story to 55. I did the uh, Jedi Shadow. What is that? Not Counselor. The other one, Jedi Knight. No, it is Shadow. Jedi is Counselor. So I did that up to 50. I did the Scoundrel up to 50. I think I got to 50 with her. Um. But I, oh, and I did the Inquisitor. So it's definitely Jedi Knight, I think, not not Counselor. I did the Inquisitor all the way up, but there's still some that I haven't done um, and that I'd like to see. Uh, and especially, you know, it's might be dying off pretty soon. So it might be nice. I just don't know if it's worth the 15 bucks. But, I mean, if you really wanted to see me, you could always donate and pay for me and I would definitely give you your your very own I mean, that's an idea your very own series but if somebody would would pay for a free to play subscription like that I would definitely run a series on that for a month uh, if someone paid my subscription that would be kinda neat just to try out games like that or if someone wanted to see what Star Wars The Old Republic was like, but just didn't care enough to play. Yeah, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just pay and play themselves? I don't know, but in any case, that's uh, neither here nor there. Let's uh, edit that out. Gone. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to keep track of the time because... Uh, well, let me see what's going to happen here. What kind of quest do I have? This is it. All right. And yeah, I'm only I've only done one chapter here, and so um, I've I've done seven levels since coming here. What's on your mind? That's not bad. Uh, work like a charm, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, I guess if uh, raping a knoll is working like a charm, I mean maybe that's what you're into, canary, canary. All right, halfway done. 
Nice, the axis of awful. So, breadcrumby, huh? Is there a quest for me to pick up here to lead me to the next section? Whoa. Uh, oh, dang. Look at that. Hornet hunting. Twilight threats. Wow. Okay. There's nobody leading me over there? That's fine. Let's, uh... Alright. Let's, uh, head on over that way. Let me put a cut in here. And then we'll pick up when we get back. Alright, so here I am at the Iron Band Excavation site. I'm going to pick up this quest here, Magmar, Felhue. Uh, recently, just before the trog surfaced within the site, we had uncovered a large number of strange carved idols, but we didn't have a chance to study them. For soon after the discovery, the trogs chased us away. So these idols have strange effects on them, makes them go berserk. So go collect eight of them, because that doesn't sound dangerous or stupid at all. Uh, there's another quest. Is it somewhere I can get it easily without... Oh, it's probably way up there, right? I bet. I bet. Yeah, run your little ass up there. Yeah, at least with this cape on. You can't see her dwarven sway. Oh, where's my... Where's that quest? Is it right behind the door here? Uh, is it up there? Hmm. I want you to tell me where the quest is. Bird, are you the quest giver? Golden Eagle, quest giver. Please, where are you? Give me a quest. Uh, I am going to... Yeah, let's pass for now. Hmm. Oh, yeah, look, there's the road that I should have followed. Well, this is the road less traveled. Oh! -ho 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 -ho. Do you see what I... Yeah, I mean, uh, it's crazy, right? See, I'm level 17, and these guys are only scaling to 16. Be nice if maybe they scaled to 18. Oh, yeah, there's some that's 18. Just for a little bit of an added challenge. Yeah, I remember... Uh, I remember adventuring down in there. I actually kind of remember <clears throat> right after Cataclysm, uh, and venturing down in there was actually kind of a pain in the ass. But let's see here. Skin you up, skin you down, skin you all around. Skin up, ooh, ooh skin down, ah, ah. skin you all around. Okay. The Far Strider Lodge. This is where I wish they had uh, the Hunter. Uh... Or do they have the Hunter thing here? No, they don't. I'm pretty sure it's in High Mountain, right? I don't remember, actually. I only got to like 101 with my Hunter, so I probably just barely got to their uh, class hall before I stopped. And my hunter was the second tune I leveled, I think. Yeah, fire mage, hunter. Let's see what else. I don't remember. Back when you had to have, uh, you know, you had to go recruit your first pet and all that stuff. Pick out which one you wanted, a tank pet or a DPS pet. All right, so I am here. I am queer, so get used to it. And I'm also here, and I want to make my home. And I can't think of a, a fun rhyme for that. So, Ervin Grayer. Ervin Grayer. Hmm. Why does that sound like some sort of play on a name? If you know, please put that in the comments, because... 
I don't know, maybe it just makes me think of uh, Ewan McGregor, but that's, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, because my mind is uh, not always totally logical. So, it wouldn't be a surprise if I associated those two for some reason. Yeah, I know, I'm getting rid of all these crafting agents, I just can't be bothered to uh, put them on the auction house without TSM. And I don't feel like putting TSM on just for all that. But let me uh, walk my ass out of here. Because I do not want rested XP. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we're going to end it right here, guys. So thanks for joining us. We are at level 17. Seven levels more. Sorry if that was, like, super loud. Seven levels more than we were. Uh when the uh the previous episodes ended but the stream didn't work out the way I wanted to. But like I said I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow morning. Uh so I guess by the time you watch this I I will be streaming at that point in time. So uh yeah guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, make sure to comment and subscribe down below. This is Folk here from Frankly Appalling Game Pay. Game Pay? Pepe Hebe yeah. So if you can GG, be bad, baby. Thanks a lot. Take it easy, guys. Uh, wait, what am I doing? There we go. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.